Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more Slay the Spire. We are on the third and final floor. So, we're running with this pretty interesting zero energy uh, ice cream build. We're kind of looking for unceasing top, to be honest, but our payoffs are currently finisher and um, masterful stab. Um, we do have three curses that we want to get rid of because we did take the, um, the calling bell. But he got us Pen Nib, which is really good, and Blood Vial's pretty good. The opportunity to turn this Blood Vial into Vampire Bites has gone, but I don't think we'd want to take it anyway. So I want to go to a place where there's a shop, and this one right here seems like the choice. We can even get here and take out another one if we wanted to, which I'm not against at all. So yeah, I think we'll do that. Alright, we've got essentially one round with... A single curse that's very annoying. Okay. Uh, well, this hand is very annoying because we got the finisher but no attacks really. So I'm just gonna strike, finisher, and then just block. There we go. Bit of a whiff of a turn there. But it happens. We have got 33 cards in the deck, so... Variance is going to be a problem. Okay. There's a lot of hits here. I would love to see after image. If I played this, we would not hit max hand size. Well, we missed the after image chance, unless this gets us one. Alchemize. Alright. I wonder if this is maybe the regen potion turn. It might be, actually. We'll see. I'm not going to play it until we've at least hit. Um, until at least we know when taking damage. So I'm going to play Endless Agony. I'm going to try to take one out, even though it will come back. Because these guys are blocking right now, so they're very annoying. This is a way of blocking at the same time. Deflect. In fact, I'll take you to one. And then just be happy to take some damage here. I'll take the regen potion. Because we know we're going to take a hit. Miss out on one of them though. Okay. Ice cream gives us six. Yeah. These curses. They're rough. Okay, we take no damage here. Because we get dagger spray. And then I'm just going to flying knee. Strike. Down to a pretty low life total. Decaying hand is annoying. Take nine. You have to be careful with this one. You're coming back now. We get regret. You know that we have to do adrenaline. Three copies of that into our deck. Let's do that. Let's, Let's try and take you out. Not going to happen. Okay. And we take one. But gain three. So you're coming back. You're blocking. But we get three adrenalines into our hand now. So if we can't chain off with this, I don't know what we can do. Seven energy as well. As it currently stands. This looks to be the finishing turn. So, let's try to take you out. Cloak and Dagger. Adrenaline. Neutralize you to death. Try work on you. Adrenaline again. Flying Knee. We've got Pen Nib enabled, so let's Adrenaline. Let's hunt for finisher. Dagger spray, that'll do. 
and we're two points off. Are you kidding me? Uh, we could have taken the strength potion to make it happen, but it's fine. We do have a bit of a regen potion left off anyway, so I'm not the I'm not too upset about that. And honestly, should be able to deal 14 damage in a turn with 12 energy. There's 10. There's lethal. All right. Block potion. Sure. Um. I'm tempted to take some discard stuff. But it's a little late for that. Because we've got the calculated gamble. So we can discard our entire hand and get some value from that. Um. Also tempted for the backflip, actually. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Deck size increase is kind of a thing. Cards which exhaust when played will instead discard 50% of the time. Ooh. I think we have to take that. Already obtained curses, so that doesn't work how you'd expect. We're a little short of Strange Spoon plus card removal. But I think... I think we have to take that. There's so much exhaust in our deck. Like, Endless Agonies don't exhaust half the time. And then we've got our Nightmare. That might not exhaust, which means we can potentially Adrenaline constantly. There's just too much absolute ridiculous turn potential there if I take that. Predator is not too bad. But I think we're fine on cards and card draw. Alright. We need a hundred gold in order to go there. The only downside to doing that is that we have to keep these here. But Regret's the only one I really am annoyed by. These two are annoying as long as Masterful Stab is in hand, but other than that not that fussed. So this is going to be a whiff, because what I want to use it for is just not going to happen. Um, but the only alternative is I go up this path, and that's a lot of battles. This seems a little uh, combat light. So I think we still go this way. It's just we're not going to be able to do card removal. Ooh, thorny dude. You're gonna be annoying. Did I have two cloak and daggers in here? I didn't think I had two. If I only had the one. Oh yeah, so I do. Good to know. Alright, uh flying Ooh, no actually. Defend. I wanna take you out. Flying knee. Let's use that block potion. Actually, I didn't really even need to do that. It was the energy potion I should have used. Quick slash. Neutralize. Cloak and dagger into shiv. To shiv. And I can kill you here. Just with the build as it currently stands, you're actually the hardest one to deal with. Alright, what we want to see is Dagger Spray in the next hand, because we have enabled Pen Nib. Putting Dazed into our deck. Okay, backflip. Alchemize. This is an energy potion. Sure, why not? Don't really need it, though. I think I'll hit the Repulsor. Down to seven. Past the turn. Because I think I can make up that 16 um, points there. And this stops putting Dazed into our deck, which is very important. Calculate a gamble for some block. Oof. That's rough. Okay. Taking 10 this turn. Not ideal. This is also not ideal. Why are we suddenly not ever drawing any blocks? 
I hate, this always happens with me. Like, we have the god tier run, and then all of a sudden, just one particular matchup, we just never draw anything good. And it's the most infuriating thing that ever happens in this game. Pass the turn. I'm not gonna nightmare, masterful stab or dagger spray. Take another nine. Here we go. This is kind of the hand that I wanted to see. Oh, we didn't exhaust it. That was good. Adrenaline went in. Right, flying knee. Endless agony. Deflect. Unfortunately, we're going to take a little bit here. But it kills him, so I'm fine with it. Hmm. I don't mind another dagger spray. A heal hook is just not enabled enough. Although that would be the kind of card that I'd love to see. Like that kind of cantrip kind of attack. I think we'll take the dagger spray. I'm up to 78 gold, so... Remove cards at sites, random colorless card, discard any number of cards. That would have been nice. Draw cards until you have six in hand. We can make that work, actually. That could be, like, busted. Really, really broken. With the right hand set up. Alright, question about time, no combat, because we do have, uh, what's it called, Juzu Bracelet. Heal to full, but lose 11 max HP. Yes. Let's do it. The Maui Head. First, when you step into the mouth of the statue, nothing happens as you start to feel more than a little foolish. The huge molar slammed down from above, crushing you whole. Darkness. Sometime later, from within the dark, you see a silver, a sliver of light, and hear what you now realize is the sound of stony teeth slowly rising upwards. You leave confused. So we re reduce our max HP a little bit, but it does mean that I can now use these campfires to either lift or upgrade. And I want to know what Nightmare does. It becomes cheaper. You give us extra cards. You're innate, so... I think innate might be... Quite good. Hmm. Let's do the innate one. Innate means it starts in my opening hand every time. And we do have lantern, so we have the extra energy. And that's these guys again. But with after image right off the bat, we're in good hands. Slice, strike, flying knee, deflect, and then take two. And then lose another curse. Alright, you all start blocking. Should draw some big attack stuff here, hopefully. Backflip. Footwork. Calculated gamble. Adrenaline's nice. Uh, bring your attack down a bit. Flying knee you. Adrenaline. Didn't exhaust. Shall I use my... Strength potion here? I think I will. Then we can alchemize. Get a dexterity potion. And we get you on the verge of death. Are you kidding me? Uh. Verge of death. I'll take that over. Not verge of death. And we take a big hit though. Ten. But I can kill you in any time I want, so we can focus on these other two now. 
can't dagger spray though, because it kills you. <laughs> Not what I want. Ooh, expertise. Okay. This is an expertise turn and a half. Give you. I suppose we will do the dagger sprays. Dagger spray. Strike you. Defend, expertise, draw up to six. And then endless agony. Not bad. Hmm, dagger throw. What do we think of dagger throw? It's a discard option for the curses that I'm currently stuck with. So I think I take it. <laughs> Just off that alone. Do I get the final lift or do I upgrade? It's a tough one. So many upgraded options. It might be Nightmare. On the turns where we get an Adrenaline in hand, but we don't want to spend all of our energy, we might want the cost reduction. And there's a chance it doesn't exhaust, so it comes back around as well. Yeah, let's do that. Line up that with an Adrenaline. And we're in... Ooh, this is a... Toxic Egg, whenever you add a skill, it's automatically upgraded. Okay. Keep that in mind. Upgrade again. This time... It's probably Expertise. Draw cards until you have eight in hand. I want energy, draw eight cards. Better than most could ask for. This hand is not better than most could ask for, though. Alright, let's get in eating. We have to work on these thorny dudes, because they are the worst. We don't have any block, but we do have the after images, so I could focus on one of you guys until I had three block. That sucks. Could also just, like, take loads of damage. The dexterity potion doesn't work for us here, because it doesn't actually affect after image. Hmm. It's gonna start slicing at you. And then I'll hit you. Didn't exhaust the endless agony. Nice. Take seven. We get loads of dazed. You know, our current deck size is not the best thing in the world. This might be the biggest deck that I've ever built. It's kind of built to be, uh... <laughs> too big. Let's get rid of regret. Let's drink the dexterity potion. We're probably going to need it. I can defend, then I can alchemize. How many energy potions? Never going to need them. So many days. Um, this might be just like a straight up redraw. Tell you what, deflect, dagger throw. Nice. Rid of the calculated gamble. I don't want to put a days into my deck, but we'll draw up to eight cards. Then I want to defend. Dagger spray everyone. Hmm. Should have defended a bit more actually. Do that. Start hitting you a bit more. Keep hitting you a bit more. Exhaust some dazed. Repulsor's going to keep putting them in there. It's matchups like this that are going to kill us, because this is the worst situation you can find yourself in. Because that dagger spray is painful. 
And in order to masterful stab, I kind of have to do it. Well, let's kill you. Which kind of, in turn, halves this a little bit. Um, build up my... Ah. I'll take 14 to hit you for 12. It's that bad. Alright. Let's try work on getting block before we take you out. Might not get the opportunity though, because... Actually, this is a good opportunity. Do that, hit nine. Don't exhaust a shiv. That might be where this goes wrong, as far as Strange Spoon is concerned, because we don't really want shivs. We get them often enough. Uh, let's deflect, so I can shiv again. Adrenaline. Backflip. Cloak and Dagger, Shiv, Shiv, Strike, and we got him down to four. Gonna have to pass the turn. So we take 11 if we hit you. I could set up an Adrenaline turn where... We just don't. We just like chain all of that block together. Make a copy of that, then we'll use it. And we'll just pass the turn. Next turn should be able to get 13 block in order to hit you once and not take damage. Okay, so deflect. To start off, Adrenaline, and Survivor, there's our block, there's our finisher. Oops. Hmm? Terra for zero. Take a Terra for zero, um, against final bosses, it's pretty good. Another energy potion. I think I'll pass. I'm gonna rest. Little worried about our life toll. Do I want to take the elite on? The thing is, like, these guys, if they're thorny dudes, they're actually far worse. In my eyes. Let's go elite. Okay. I think we can manage you. After image. Slice. Let's survivor and endless agony. So I'm not tempted to use it. And I can also masterful stab then. Forgot about the pen nib, but meh. Keep shiving you. What does this actually stop him? For each card player, Giant Head takes 10% more damage from attacks. Ah. Not too bad. Let's see if we can keep doing that. Over four turns. <laughs> mm. Let's go Adrenaline first. Footwork, deflect, build up that slow essentially. I don't think I need this many energy potions, so I'm going to alchemize. A dexterity potion, adrenaline, and then quick slash, flying knee, which is essentially free. And because we've got the Strange Spoon, I'm just going to use the Endless Agonies because there's a chance they go into our discard pile, and both of them did. Look at that. 
Beautiful. And I'll save my energy. I will never need it all. Really do want that skewer. That skewer would just end this run. Okay. Uh, cloak and dagger. Backflip. Deflect. Slice. Is that right? 14, 12. Yeah, we want to do that. Oh, I want to dagger spray. I pen the bagger. Okay, and we take two. Oh, we take one, actually, because that went first, apparently. Interesting. Ah, oh, he's weakening us. That's no fun. Huh. Huh. <laughs> that could be a thing. Had three copies of that card. It would allow us to chain quite well. Let's try it out, shall we? It's Nightmare and Expertise. Strike. Um, defend. Expertise to try and get loads of attacks. Add some vulnerable. We actually don't exhaust it as well. Oh, exhaust energy. Do love ya. Dagger throw. I'll get that exhausted if I leave it. Yeah, might as well. It's not attacking us. Flying knee. Dagger spray. Finisher. Run out of energy. Oh dear. Alright. So now he should start attacking us for a lot. Yeah, 30. So. Let's... Survivor, a calculated gamble. Not going to need it. These are going to allow us to chain with the energy potions. We should be able to do some fun stuff. Slice. Pen nib is enabled. A cloak and dagger. Gonna have to shiv with that pen nib. Backflip. Endless agonies. I'm gonna start using them. In fact, there's no incentive not to use them now with Strange Spoon. That's expertise. Ugh. That's real bad. Defend. Strike. Energy potion, expertise. How much free stuff's in here? There's a fair amount of free stuff, but there's also a fair amount of not very free stuff, so I think I'll go with... Well, I'll go with a quick slash, because it actually works out as more, and then I can terror you. And we pass the turn. We lose a fair bit on that regret. But we don't lose anything on this attack. Thirty-five. Okay. Lock and dagger. Shiv. Shiv. Endless agony. Endless agony. We're on double damage. Dagger spray. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Oh boy. Next turn, draw X cards. Gain X energy. But there's also choke. Whenever you play a card this turn, it deals five HP. This is, um, this is actually upgraded because of Toxic Egg. I don't know, this seems like the, the payoff, though. 
for all of this chaining that we're doing. We do chain a lot. And it adds the attack to the ornamental fan. I mean, like, drawing nine cards next turn, I feel like that's just... It's great. Don't get me wrong. But we're not able to refill our hand as easily as we might hope. I think. It's a tough one. It really is. That's a hell of a lot of damage. That's a hell of a lot of card draw. It's a hell of a big deck though. Hmm. It's probably gotta be Choke. We just, we killed that guy so slowly that we put ourselves at risk. Alright, one final battle before the rest. Okay, the Maw's not bad. Not bad at all. After image. To get that going. Slice. Flying knee. Endless agony. Endless agony. Deflect. Dagger spray. Expertise. Terror. Neutralize. Pass. Up to six on our pen nib, so let's try and keep that in mind. He's just made us insanely weak. Oh boy. It's the nightmare. Oh, it's the alchemist. I thought it was the um, adrenaline <laughs> for a moment, then I was getting a bit too excited. Ah, uh, yeah, this hand's a bit of a dud. Footwork, alchemize, get a weak potion. I'll save that for now, he's not really hitting us too much. Take two. Four energy. I'm gonna quick slash. Double cloak and dagger. A fair bit of damage. Yeah, I suppose we'll do that. Calculated gamble. Slice. Carry one energy over. Meh. Strengthening up. We can weaken you whenever we feel like it. Okay. Flying knee. Adrenaline. Backflip. Choke. Endless agony. Endless agony. Defend. Defend. And pass. Got the block. So, no need to apply that weakness potion. We'll only use it when we're going to take damage. And even then, we might not bother. Adrenaline. It's okay. Broken dagger. Shiv, shiv. Now we go dagger spray because it's doubled. Redraw our hand. Oh, beautiful. Um, let's adrenaline first. Shiv comes back. Terror. Doesn't exhaust. Dagger spray. Expertise for eight cards. Choke. Slice. Slice. Pretty good. Explosive potions, okay. And these ones are pretty meh. If this was for vulnerable, I would absolutely in a heartbeat take it. But it's not. Deck size is large enough. And it's time to rest. We're on the final boss. Let's go to full health. And it is the uh, awakened one. Okay. After image. This is like a setup turn, so. 
kind of want to block that 22 if I can help it. Uh, or at least reduce it. Let's use that explosive potion. It's the best time to use it right now, anyway. Let's... Ah, you see, I want to use footwork. But then I also want to use cloak and dagger with choke. Get that dexterity potion in. How do we want to do this? We're taking damage no matter what happens. I want to get empty handed. The best way to do that uh, is probably that. That, that, and that. Ah. But that's not like the best turn in terms of damage. Footwork will come back around. Will I regret not having it right now, though? With after image and already two dexterity applied, I suppose we won't. It's like I already used it. I'm going to get these cultists off the board, so I'm going to choke these guys. I'm going to neutralize you to reduce that, so that we can actually block most of it. Actually, we block all of it. I'm going to hit you, and we hope for a dagger spray, because it's doubled up. Take three. Pen nibs enabled, so the first attack that we take has to be the best one. If, we're po if at all possible. Mm, flying knee. It's 20 damage. What could Alchemize get us? It's an interesting question. Let's backflip first, see if we get a better hmm. okay, I'm gonna hit you why are you one point short quick slash you to death, get a clumsy which exhausts and now we apply that weakness potion just to reduce the amount of damage we take. You should be dead next turn, so I only have to worry about you then, because he never brings them back. Or I've never seen him do it. Okay. Terror. Seven. There's lethal there. Adrenaline. Dagger spray. Endless agony. Endless agony. Endless agony. Masterful stab. Pass the turn. Take another big hit. But we did have a big turn there. Beautiful. A nightmare on adrenaline. We get three copies of adrenaline into our deck. Which may not exhaust, so we'll adrenaline. That one did. A dagger spray you, strike you, strike you, and I'm just going to survive a discard, maintain our energy. We should never be able to not empty our hand now that we've got four carrying over, especially with all those adrenalines. Okay, uh, dagger throw, discard decay. We're then going to deflect Adrenaline, Slice, that finisher is going to be disgusting if all goes well. Adrenaline, all's not going very well right now. Adrenaline, Strike. Use up all our blocks so that we can expertise into more attacks. There's more attacks. Fortunately, one of them's Masterful Stab. 
five, six, seven. Trying to line the finisher up with the pen nib, which should be enough to take him out. Eight. Nine. And are you ready for the biggest hit of your entire life? 24 damage, eight times, please. Well, we don't get to see the rest of it. But it's still pretty good. Let's calculate gamble, because we can. And... There's really nothing we can do there. Just let it go. He comes back up. Just the same and as annoying as ever. 42 damage, jeez. Alright, footwork. Defend. Quick slash. Alchemize. Strength potion. Flying knee. Wow. He's actually going to deal a hell of a lot of damage here. We get to block. I get to dump regret as well. Shiv. Shiv. Block, shiv, shiv. 31 is dealing 36. So I'll just block it. Can't really afford to take damage at this point. 20 damage this time around. So this is the turn. We can uh, block 20 quite easily, I think. Yeah, choke. Neutralize. With. Pen nib enabled, so let's adrenaline. Try find a big dagger spray. There you go. Uh, endless agony. Endless agony. Deflect. Survivor. Block it all. Did um, Terra exhaust? Ooh, what's that? Gain one less energy at the start of your turn. Never seen that before. I've always killed this guy, like, super fast. Um, yeah, Terra's gone, so the vulnerability's never coming back. It's Adrenaline first. Dagger throw. For a strike. One, two, three... Oh, I can play it all. Guess we get rid of the slice, though. I kind of want this to exhaust. Shiv. Flying knee. Strike. Strike. 50 damage. And we block 15 of his 20. This is going to be so close. Come on, deck, don't fail me now. Ah. Uh, ooh, this one's a tough one. So deflect. Shiv. How much do I want to draw extra cards? We draw a lot of block. We could draw adrenalines, calculated gambles. We could also draw regrets, which would be awful. defend and then we'll expertise right okay oh, this is so tough we need the extra energy we got the adrenaline but I can't play it just yet I don't think one two three four five six seven eight oh, actually we could Three energy. I can't calculate gamble because we'll draw regret. Could draw it here with this quick slash, so. I mean, we've got 24 damage, so. I think we've got it. We've done it. Oh! Oh, that was a tough one. That was an interesting build as well. Didn't think that one would work out as well as it did.
but 39 cards, get in. Deep Pulsing Dread and all that jazz, you prefer your daggers? We did 557, which is nowhere near as much as we did last time, but we did it in more style, I guess. Oh, victory. Continue. 557 points. It's not too bad. I don't even know, to be honest, what gives you points in this game, and I don't frankly care. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, I hope you guys have enjoyed that run. I absolutely loved playing that, so I'm, hopefully it was a good viewing experience for you guys. If you have enjoyed it, like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon and all that jazz, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.